So if you know anything about me as a person, if you know much about Sean Tracy, you'll know that I obsessively watch rugby. Uh, I don't play it, but I really, really love the sport. And uh, right around the corner, less than a month away, the 2023 Rugby World Cup is kicking off. And if you don't know much about rugby, that's okay. This video is not gonna be about it, but um, a little fact about it is that there's a Rugby World Cup every four years. So when I think about this upcoming World Cup, and then when I think about the last one in 2019, and when I think about the one that's gonna be taking place in 2027, I've noticed something. Um, it's that these Rugby World Cups and the Rugby World Cup cycles, they oddly align with cycles of my own personal and professional life. And so what this upcoming Rugby World Cup represents is the ending of one cycle of my life and the beginning of another one. And that's what the Rugby World Cup next month is, is symbolizing to me. So in this episode of Bad, Becoming a Director, a show about getting good, I'd like to look at what this moment means for me. What cycle is ending, what cycle is beginning. So let's get started. I'm your host, Sean Tracy, and welcome to Bad. So firstly, to address the elephant in the room, where have I been? I haven't uploaded to this series, uh, I think since May, but the last time I updated you was talking about a music video that I made back in April. So a lot has happened since April. And right now I'm in the suburb of Sammamish in Seattle, Washington, uh, because myself and my friend Henry, who I'm staying with, we're about to go to Prodigy Camp on Tuesday. So we're sort of relaxing and preparing ourselves for that trip. And it's been really, really lovely. But essentially I've had a bit of time off this summer just to, to cover that side of things first, to cover my personal life. And then professionally, it's been a decent summer. Uh, I've been working hard, definitely. Uh, a very significant opportunity stands out in the fact that I got to make a, a 60 second promo for national television in Ireland for the Irish coverage of the Women's World Cup. Throughout the rest of the summer, I've also been continuing continuing the sort of constant collaborative relationship that I've had with Junk Couture, the company that I've been doing a lot of work with since September when I started this full-time filmmaking journey. Um, and I also have been developing some concepts for two projects that will hopefully be happening between now and the end of the year. Fingers crossed. And another fun thing that happened this summer uh, was that I shot a mock version or like a, a proof of concept short film back in June and I'll be making the kind of the real version, if that's the right way of saying it, this upcoming week in Prodigy Camp. So that is very exciting that this summer I will have a short film to point to because that's the reason I said it's been a decent summer. You know, it hasn't been a spectacular summer because for me, for me to have a spectacular summer, I have to make a really big piece of art and I just feel like I haven't done that. You know, I have been relaxing, which is great. And then outside of that, I've just been working. Uh, been, yeah, just pursuing the opportunities that have presented themselves to me. Next summer specifically, I, I would like to make a little bit more time for writing and directing a big short film because for me, that's just what makes life special and that's what makes me really, really happy. That all being said, a lot is about to change now, looking forward. Uh, and that brings me into the second part, the second half of this, of this video, which is kind of dropping a bit of a bombshell given how um, cemented this decision or the alternative decision previously was in my life. But anyways, so here we go, I'll drop the bomb. Uh, I'm going to college. Before I go any further, there are a couple of words I would love to share that I think put into perspective exactly what it is I'm trying to get at in this video. Basically, last summer I spent just under three weeks in LA, Ubering around the place, meeting as many people in the film industry as I could. And one of the, one of the people that I met uh, was the wonderful Bob Gazelle at the American Film Institute. And um, this is what he had to say after our meeting, which he shared with me in an email. This is a collaborative art form. One needs a community, and in addition to talent and drive, one needs to listen, to empathize, to be human. To do this, read. Study things that are not film. Live. Because only then will your stories connect with audiences. Those words from Bob pretty much exactly identify why it is I'm going to college. Working full-time over the last year 
as a as a filmmaker, but m more so as a content creator than a filmmaker. Um, you know, it's been it's been decent. It's been all right. It, it's kind of been a little bit of a rude awakening as to what it's like to work full time in the real world with work pressures. You know, in some cases, I've I've really done myself proud and and you know delivered. And then in other cases, certain pitfalls have arisen that I never really would have anticipated. That that certainly stung pretty hard. Um, you know, professionally and, and and personally as well. And, you know, again, o overall in the grand scheme of things, it's been decent, but the two poorer qualities about it, we can say, um, that I haven't really shared at all in this series, Becoming a Director, loneliness and a sense of directionlessness as well. Basically, there have been weeks over the last year where I have spent every single day from Monday to Sunday in my office working from 9 a.m. to midnight. Like there have been weeks like that where I've just been working by myself all week. Um, and I think in some situations that's completely fine if what I'm working on is a massive passion project, if it's an artistic piece that can massively contribute to my career that I'm trying to work towards in the form of a writer-director. But, you know, that's unfortunately not what a lot of my work has been over the last year. Um, the, the project I can point to that, you know, I think contributed to that future that I'm after the most was the music video I made back in April. But beyond that, a lot of what I was doing was, you know, corporate videos, client videos, not storytelling. That's the main thing. I feel like I haven't been telling stories. That's kind of what caused a little bit of the sense of directionlessness, you know, feeling like all this work that I was doing wasn't really contributing to the bigger picture of me trying to become a writer director when I'm older. You know, that's what a lot of the work has felt like over the last year. Add to that the loneliness that comes along with working by yourself in an office Monday to Sunday, 9 a.m. to midnight, and you have not got a very happy 19-year-old filmmaker. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, what has managed to happen over the last year is I've managed to establish some contacts within the film industry that I can hopefully build upon now and continue to collaborate with over the coming years. And that's great. So now I can use those kind of foundations that I've set up over the last year and build on them while adding in some youth. You know, I can continue working the way I've been working um, but hopefully adding in some life experience and some youth and some education and some life. I kind of repeated myself with life in that sentence, didn't I? But you get what I'm saying. And, and fundamentally, that lifestyle of working in an office in a very sheltered environment all week um, and not having much stimulation creatively or socially, is that gonna make me a better storyteller at the end of the day? Is that gonna allow me to tell stories that are gonna connect with audiences around the world that are hopefully gonna move people and help people and contribute to somewhat of a healthier society? No. <laughs> How am I gonna be able to empathize with anyone if I don't talk to anyone, if I don't connect with anyone, if I don't know more about the world? You know, this time last year, I was coming home from America after being there for four weeks. And I was, I was, I was coming home from a really eye-opening, stimulating experience. And I was kind of heading into the unknown with work. I, I was heading into, yeah, the kind of the abyss a little bit. And, and now I feel like no matter what happens at Prodigy Camp this coming week, I feel like coming home, I know what I'm heading into a little bit more. I know the working circumstance I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be setting myself up for over the next year. Um, I know the social circumstance I'm setting myself up for over the next year. I know what I've gotta do to, to just stimulate myself a little bit more in life, be a little bit happier. Um, and, and hopefully get closer to that dream of, of becoming a director uh, with a little more efficiency. <laughs> um, and I'm buzzed. It's a special feeling to, yeah, I'm, I'm psyched. It's a special feeling to, to have this faith in my future that I think I was missing a little bit last year, perhaps subconsciously. So I'm sure now you can see with a little bit more detail uh, why this upcoming World Cup in September really marks a turning point in my life. It marks the beginning of a new cycle for me. The last four years have been all about finishing secondary school, growing personally and professionally during that time. And then over the last year, I've obviously had a very intense period of, of solo work within the real world um, and, and trying to understand how that whole works in and of itself, which has been interesting. Um, so, you know, this World Cup that's coming up in September marks the end of that four-year chapter for me of intense personal and professional growth. 
and it marks the beginning of a new four-year cycle of, of a four-year college course for me as well, which is awesome. It, this, this, this World Cup and the next World Cup will be bookending my college experience um, and I'm sure that it that is going to be an even more intense period of, of growth professionally and personally. I, I don't want to go into it with too much expectation but it's just interesting, I don't know, it's interesting that this World Cup, this September, it marks the end of an era for me and the beginning of a new one and I don't know what this new one's gonna gonna entail, I don't want to have too many expectations for it. Um, all I know is that I'm just gonna try and keep keep fine-tuning how my life and circumstances are so that I can just kind of stay on that track of hopefully one day becoming a writer-director and we'll see. Um, don't want to try too hard either, do I? Don't want to force it. All right, that's it for now. That's it for now. I'll chat to you soon. Uh, stay stellar. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for tuning in today. And if you want to keep up with my day-to-day -day life, head over to Instagram and follow me at Sean Tracy Film. Stay safe.